Hey guys, what's up? It's Sina here, back again with another video on gut health. Today we will be discussing how gut health affects our skin. So yes, of course we're gonna get our facials, we're gonna go to get our microdermabrasion, all that stuff is amazing guys, but what we are gonna be discussing today is actually how gut health affects our skin. So firstly, we're gonna start off with the definition of functions and how our organs play a role in this. So the liver is responsible for removing toxins from the blood and then breaking them down, dumping them into the gut. Once they're into the gut, they process through the digestive tract, go into the large intestines where they filter them out, and then eventually they find its way right out of us. Cool. So once that process all right, becomes interrupted, it becomes uh, inefficient due to a myriad of things. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how the role of antibiotics that we consume on a daily basis that can affect us long term. So acne is present when there is a certain level of strep that is hiding in the liver, all right? So whether that was inherited or we get it from childhood, we take a series of antibiotics when we get infections, right? These things also feed the strep over time. And once we hit puberty, whoa, that's when everything changes, right? Our body is like literally releasing strep into the bloodstream. The lymphatic system is trying to filter out, but in the process, it's like, whoa, let me make it to the skin and show my face, right? As soon as we turn 13, 14, right? Then let's get into the foods. So one, we have our antibiotics, right? Antibiotics uh, can be consumed from animal protein because animals are fed antibiotics for mass production, right? Depending upon where you buy, but then again, there's a certain of level of antibiotics in all meats, right? <laughs> Just to make that clear. Then we have our dairy products, right? Strep loves dairy, right? So if you're a cheese fiend, you know, just consider that. If you're trying to like clear up your skin, it plays a vital role in like feeding it. It loves it. The public water system. I mean, it doesn't get more basic than that. You know, you, you take showers every day, you brush your teeth, just think about the antibiotics that you literally have no control over. If you're getting a coffee at a local coffee shop, what kind of water do you think that they're using? Just something to think about, right? So all these things affect our skin over time, okay? And what can we do to pretty much combat that? All right, we can start the day with 32 ounces of lemon water. That's actually something that your liver loves, right? Your liver loves lemon lime water, all right? <laughs> so definitely that's something that you can incorporate on a daily basis that is going to help you become healthier and it's gonna give your lymphatic system a rest. So when your body's getting rid of the toxins, it's gonna be like, all right, great. Um, number two, we can start to move. When you move, you're actually giving your lymphatic system a an opportunity to flow even better. We can dry brush, right? That's a topical level, but it's also affecting us on an internal level, right? Lastly, we can decrease our pesticide exposure. So as we know, pesticides are everywhere, organic, inorganic fruits and veggies. What we can do is we can wash our fruits and veggies with baking soda, ACV, all right, apple cider vinegar, not too much, all right, less is more, but these are all things that you can do in the comfort of your own home to improve your diet, okay? So we have the choices, and then we have what we're doing to those choices. So thanks so much for tuning in, and like, subscribe, share this video, and I will see you on July 26th.